What's wrong? <laughs> it looks like you just saw a ghost. Silly you. It's me. I will never, never leave you. We are family and I love you. You know that, right? <laughs> I will do everything for you. Everything. Even becoming human again. But it hurts. It really hurts. Save me. Save me. What's wrong? Oh, my dear. Don't worry. I am here. Remember, no matter what happens in there, we must stay united. These hunters, they are experts at manipulation, at drawing out our weaknesses. We cannot afford to show any. Look inside my eyes. Look. We will find our sister. No matter what it takes. Now. Let's get the information we need. Come with me. <laughs> it seems the tables have turned, hasn't it? Once a hunter, now the hunter, caught in the web of your own deceit. Don't get too comfortable, vampire. This isn't over. It's far from over there. You see, I won't rest until I find my sister. And if that means tearing apart every hunter that stands in my way, so be it. <laughs> Your precious sister willingly walked into our hands. How nice. She was so desperate to escape you and your tyranny. <laughs> Enough of your games. Where is she? What have your people done to my sister? Speak before I lose my patience. I've already told you. I don't know where they've taken her. I swear. You expect me to believe that? After everything your kind has done. You know, there was a time I was like you. A human. Naive and trusted. But humans showed me no kindness, no compassion, when I needed it the most. And now? You have become nothing more than food to me. Tell me where she is. I don't know. Don't you even dare to look at me. You took everything from me. My future, my happiness. And now you stand there with her 
as if you have any right to judge me, to demand answers from me. You, you are the worst of them all. It was you who dragged me into this nightmare. You stole my life from me. Sorry. You think sorry is going to change anything? That night, the night you beat me and left me for death. <laughs> Do not let her speak to you in this manner. You are not the monster. Your tears mean nothing to me. If you wish to save yourself, you will tell us what we need to know. My patient is wearing thin. I... I truly don't know where she is. The scientist. She is the master mind. She might know. The scientist? Tell me more about her. Her role in all of this. She decides the next hunt. She plots strategies to lure your kind into traps. She's been experimenting on creatures trying to find ways to, to make something else, something stronger than us both. Why do you follow her then? Can't you see? She is using you, turning you into her puppets. I don't have a choice, okay? None of us do. She, she holds something over us. Something that ensures our loyalty. Whether we like it or not. Then help us, help us find her and put an end to this madness. What is her name? Doctor. Doctor Boss. I don't know her full name, but don't mistake my words for cooperation. I might despise her, but that doesn't mean I've sided with you monsters. I'd rather perish than willingly help your kind, especially you. You. You will cooperate, Hunter. You will tell us everything you know about the scientist. Or else... Or else what? <laughs> you Fraxia. You kill me. I've faced her before and I'm not afraid to face it again. How do you know my name? We know many things about you. How is your brother? <laughs> when I return, I expect answers, not defiance. Be ready to spill everything. Or brace yourself. Remember. The clock is ticking. Tuck, tuck, tuck. And time is not on your 
This garden had us witnessed centuries of joy and sorrow, love and loss. It's a place where I find solace, where I can think clearly. Yes, the hunter said the truth. I was once called that way. Euphraxia. A name I told was long forgotten. It's a name from a past life, one I left behind along with every last inch of humanity in my heart. Look at me. I am your elder sister, that you must know. There is no need for names. But it does make me wonder how much the hunters know about us, about me. <sighs> you are being curious today, more than usual. I get it. My sister, our sister, I found her when she was a fragile human, suffering in the harsh world of humans. I couldn't bear to see her in such a state. So I took her in, nurtured her, and gave her a new life. A life where she would never have to suffer again. She becomes family, my family, a beacon of light in this dark world. Together we found the happiness even in the face of adversity. Or so I do. Aren't you thinking the same? Why she would leave us if she was happy here? You are still young. You didn't saw the world like I did. My own story, it's a painful one. I once had a family, a little brother who was the light of my life. But fate was cruel and he fell ill. In my desperation to save him, I sought the help of an ancient vampire lord. I want to save him by giving him the immortality of a vampire, like I did with you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, you know that? Yes. The transformation of my brother failed. And I was left alone. I woke up the next day with no trace of him or the ancient vampire and found myself transformed into a creature of the night. Becoming a vampire was never my intention. But over time I've come to embrace this existence. It's given me the strength and the means of protect those who I love, like you, like my sister. 
En het is dat bij deze sterk geeft. Allowed me to find a new purpose, a new family. So, no, I don't regret it. <laughs> You know, when we first met, I wasn't sure if I could open my heart again, if I could let someone new into our castle. But my sister, she saw something in you, a kindred spirit perhaps. She insisted that we saved you, that we gave you the chance of a new life. <sighs> I am so grateful that she did, because with time you become more than just part of the family. You are a source of joy for me, hope and love. I watched you grow. I watched you embracing this new life with courage and grace. And as I watched, my affection grew. <laughs> Much like a mother's love for her child. You brought light into my life, a warmth that I feared I had lost forever. <laughs> I want you to remember, no matter what happens, no matter the challenges we face, you are not alone. We stand together as family. And together we will face any adversity. We will overcome any obstacle. Our bond is strong. They will not tear us apart. Do you understand? <laughs> mm, humans. <laughs> when I was one of them, I believed in their kindness. But time and time again, they showed nothing more but that cruelty and disdain. They never extended a helping hand. Not when my brother was on the death door. Not when my sister was a fragile human. And now these hunters, they are the epitome of human cruelty. A testament to their inability to see beyond their narrow perspective. They hunt us down like animals, refusing to see our beauty, the beauty of our kind. They see us just like monsters to be irritated. Blind to what truly we are, to the feelings we are. I know, I know that you didn't want to become a vampire. But there wasn't a choice. This is the life you have now. We feed because we need to survive. It might not be always be fair. And not all humans deserve this fate. But we have a right to live just as they do. We have built a family and we will fight for it. We will protect it. 
together <laughs> you know that I love you right <laughs> The full moon is very beautiful tonight, don't you think? The scientist, that name, it's a name that haunts the corners of my memory. I've heard it before, a long time ago perhaps, in a different life. someone bearing that family name in the past. No, it cannot be. It just cannot be the same person. We must hurry. We cannot waste any more time. We need to go back to the hunter goal now before. Come with me. Now, there is no time to waste. This smell, it cannot be. How naive I've been to not understand this before. The stench of death and the darkness. A scent that should have been eradicated centuries ago. You can't beat her. Now, run. Run. I'll find you. Just go. You. I only care about you and that. 
I would never allow anyone to touch you It doesn't matter Don't worry about me We need to hurry now We need to go To save our sister Together <laughs> Do you know that I love you? Let's go to sleep.